It is a subway brawl where a man is berated and attacked by several women. The fight all over his jacket. Well, tonight he regrets losing his temper. Pix 11's Andrew Ramos spoke to the man who police say was acting in self-defense. He is live in the studio with more on what he had to say. Andrew. Good evening, guys. Now, the Manhattan District Attorney has indeed dropped the charges against Jorge Peña for his part in that now viral subway fight. The man known online as 8-Ball Jacket Guy was cleared after officials saw the YouTube video that we all saw where he slapped his attacker after he was struck himself. Jorge now says he's sorry but had no choice. Just watch your stuff. Sporting the eight ball jacket that has gained him notoriety on the street and online, Jorge Pena faced reporters to tell his side of the story on the subway brawl that has thrusted him in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. I cannot go on the train anymore. I love my jacket. I cannot wear this jacket anymore. The Bronx man broke down in tears, explaining all he wanted to do was go home early Saturday to his girlfriend and child when he crossed paths with rowdy subway riders who relentlessly bullied him on the F train, calling him out for his attire, then striking him with the heel of a stiletto. I don't have no choice. You know, let me no choice. I have to do what I, what I did. You know, I'm trying to defend myself. I'm afraid that she bumped my eye, she make me blind or something. The six foot six Pena admitted he had never slapped anyone before, acknowledging his size and strength. You know, I have big hands. I'm afraid to if I slap or hit anybody. No, I'm not a man of problems. It makes me feel bad. You understand how the girls are gonna, are gonna look me on the street. Like, yeah, this is the man. This is the man who has loved the girl. The 25-year-old who suffered lacerations to his face and head spent four nights behind bars. His attackers, who have been identified as 21-year-old Danae Howard and 20-year-old Shani Campbell, were among those also arrested in the melee. Pena was eventually released and cleared of all charges, something his attorneys are crediting to the now infamous video. I think if there wasn't a video in this case, Mr. Pena would have went to court for probably a year before something substantial happened, whether that was a dismissal or a trial. Pena, a native of the Dominican Republic who came to the United States as a pro baseball prospect for the Oakland A's, says he never wanted this type of attention. I work hard for my family. I take care of my family. I just want to be a regular person. Now, an investigation is now underway as to why Pena spent four nights in jail being held on a misdemeanor charge, while his aggressor, Danae Howard, who struck him with a six-inch heel stiletto, was charged with a felony, yet she was released before a judge. Guys, back to you.